I wanted to chat briefly about uh, something that uh, Ryan Brux over at Epic has been working on, which is uh, kind of real-time simulation and volume modeling. Uh, he released uh, a plugin for UE4 that uh, allows you to do some pretty cool stuff with volumes. Um, and uh, you can learn more about it from the video on their YouTube channel. And uh, there's also a link uh, where you can download the, the plugin that, that he's created. And the, the links for all of that are, are below this video. Uh, so what I want to show you is um, how you can actually create your own volume texture to get into Unreal to then use with his tools. So in the uh, latest version of the game development uh, tool set, uh, there is a volume to texture rub. Uh, so I'm going to take my, my classic rubber toy here and uh, convert it to a volume. And then just to make it a little bit easier to see, I'm just going to make sure that density is one uh, in all uh, voxels that have a density above zero. And then in my subcontext, I can put down a ROP volume texture. And what this guy does basically is just, it samples the volume uh, in slices and then writes that to a texture. So if you want to kind of get an idea of what that's going to look like, uh, there is a preview button, which will just give you a, a very simple um, grid. Uh, but that is what is needed over in UE4. So what I can do here is I can increase the number of slices if I want more resolution. And I can also change the images per line. And uh, that'll give me something which should be pretty good. Uh, and then resolution as well if I want some, some more detail. Playing with this obviously is going to give you different results uh, in terms of the, the resolution of the volume in uh, Unreal. So once that's all done, I can simply hit render and it'll render out that texture. And if we jump across to Unreal, um, I'm not gonna go into setting up the, the plugin. Uh, have a look at those links that I mentioned already on uh, the Epic website uh, as to, to how to do that. Uh, but once you've got that all in there, um, underneath the ray marching folder, uh, there's a material that you can essentially grab and instance and then change out the texture. So I brought in that, that texture that I, I wrote out from Houdini and this is what it looks like. Uh, it's essentially just a slice of the volume. And then I've also gone and instanced uh, one of those materials. Uh, in this case, it was the M volume ray march lit linear. And I've plugged that texture into that material. And what you now have is a volume in UE4 in real time, and you're able to author that volume. So this is just a simple example, but you could obviously uh, sculpt something or, or uh, use some noise to create that, that volume and then write out that texture. Uh, so if we jump across here and I apply it over here, there we go. So pretty straightforward, uh, have a play with it. If you run into any problems, let me know and uh, I can help you out.